Why should we take supplements? What is the reason for that? I'm often asked why on earth we should take supplements because you know, animals in the wild don't take supplements and when we were busy evolving uh, we didn't need supplements either. But the problem is that we, our lifestyle has transformed so completely from the, um, the environment that we evolved in and are adapted to. We're out of range, we're out of control. And in particular, um, cheap energy and modern technology has made it possible for us to live very low energy lifestyles. And uh, a lot of people living in towns and cities get by on 2,000 calories a day or less. That's not what we were designed to do. Uh, we know from studies of the 19th century, a uh, time when people were doing a lot of manual labor, um, people were eating between two and a half, three and a half thousand calories a day for women and for men up to 7,000 calories a day. And uh, they had extremely good health, uh, a high degree of freedom from degenerative diseases. Now we're running at a very low level of energy and that means we're eating very little food, historically speaking. Um, we're still eating a little more than we need, which is one reason why on the surface we appear to be overnourished, but inside we're starving. We're eating historically very little. We're also making very bad food choices. We're no longer eating simple fruits and vegetables and unprocessed foods. We're eating the foods that the food industry shovels onto us, which are collectively a disaster. Many of them are very low in micronutrients and overloaded with, quite, uh, in the greatest scheme of things, harmful compounds. So we end up being, as I said, overweight or overnourished on the outside. Inside we're depleted. And that's not deficiency, such as vitamin C where you get scurvy, but we're not completely free of vitamin C, but we're eating very low levels of it. And we're also depleted in all the other vitamins, all the other trace elements, all the essential fiber types, the essential fatty acids, methanogens, cyanogens, phase two upregulators, the polyphenols, the carotenoids, the xanthophils. There are so many compounds that the body needs to take in in its diet on a regular basis to stay healthy. And we're compromised in terms of all of them. And that creates a kind of malnutrition called type B malnutrition. And it also creates a condition of chronic inflammation in the body. And that, as we now know, is the core of most, perhaps all, chronic degenerative disease. And that's why we need supplementation. Uh, amongst other things, to put out the fires, but to make up for this very yawning nutrient gap that uh, is so prevalent today and that is responsible for so many of our public health problems.